25th February. Ah, what a day! It was a red letter day for the four of us. Yes, something very special happened on that day. It changed our lives, for the better, of course. My name is Gus. That's me on the far left. The day began like any other normal day. You know, the Geography Society ought to make a trip somewhere this year. And, as the committee responsible for organizing this trip, we have to decide. So, oh, oh, I... Please, I feel that, um, as a full subscription paying member of the Geography Society, I feel that it has to be a unique place so that all the members can benefit from the visit. Marvin, why don't we listen to what Lena has to say? I'm mm -hmm. sorry, Lena, please proceed. Do you remember I suggested some time ago that we visit an army camp? The women's wing, I mean. Yes. I wrote to the commander of Wadiban Camp in Jalan Rukelang, requesting permission to visit the camp. And? He replied. Is Here's it the a letter. yes or a no? Be patience, Marvin. I'll read it aloud. Dear Miss Lina Johari, we refer to your letter dated 31st January requesting permission for your Geography Society to visit the camp and learn about the life of women soldiers in the army. We are pleased to inform you that permission is granted. Please reply by stating the date and the number of people we will be visiting. We look forward to meeting you soon. Thank you. So guys, what do you think? That's great, Lina. I like the idea. I say yes. Gentlemen, this is a rare chance for you to meet macho women. What do you think? Perhaps their only chance. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I think it's a good idea. I've never seen women soldiers in action before. Zurida, it's a yes for me too. One moment please, listen. I feel that... Listen Marvin, it's three against one. Yeah, yeah, but Marvin. Yeah, Marvin. Yeah, yeah Marvin. Marvin. Okay, okay. Majority win. I'm a cap it is. Hey, Gus. Look who's coming. After the camp, my parents will be in Johor Bahru that weekend. Well, of course. Thanks, you. I appreciate your help. Hi, Gus. You're rather quiet. I've got to go, guys. Uh, I'll see you later. Bye. 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 That was your chance, Gus. Oh. Why didn't you speak to her? I don't know. I just freeze every time I meet her. You only had to say hi, Sarah. Just two words. Was that so difficult? No. I said that, right? I, didn't I? Courage, buddy. You must have courage. If you like her, you should try to get to know her better. Ladies, ladies, one moment, please. Allow me to tell you why our friend is so reluctant to speak to her. He... It's okay, Marvin. I'll tell them. Sarah and I are worlds apart. Have you all noticed how good her English is? Yes. So... Gus has tried to speak to her because he feels his English is weak. Gus, we are very disappointed. Are you just going to take things lying down? Yes. Coward. What? It's only by practicing and learning from one's mistakes that one can improve in any language. Or in anything for that matter. Uh, one moment, please. Gus, I think I can help you solve your problem. How? 
Um, there's an interactive website that can help you improve your English. Oh? It's called Just a Game. Oh, that's the one where you learn English by playing a series of games, mm, right? Yes, that's the one. Oh, I've tried it. Really helped me improve my English. And it was fun. Okay, I'll give it a try. What's the website address? Uh, www.justagame.info. It's really easy. Don't worry about it. Justagame.info. Just game. That's it. Oh. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. www.justagame.info. Mm. Yes. Just a game. Play, have fun, and learn English. I am Mentor the Umpire. To play the game, please register by entering a username. Axios77. XIOS77. Now select your coach. Chow. I pick Charles. chose me as your coach in just a game. So, here I am. You must be Axios 77. But you in the computer just now? How you get out here? I can see he needs a lot of help in his English. Calm down and keep quiet, and I'll tell you all about myself and why I'm here. You humans get excited easily. That's a feeling, correct? What? Uh, never mind. Let's begin by introducing ourselves. I'm Chaos. How do you do? Do what? That's another thing I'll have to teach you. How to introduce yourself. Chaos is an acronym for Certified Human Assistance Operating System. Okay. You don't know what an acronym means, do you? An acronym is a word usually made up of the first letters of the name of something. Let's take my name for instance. My full name is Certified Human Assistance Operating System. So you take the C from Certified, H from human, A from assistance, and the O from, and the S. Very good, and you put them all together and you get... Chaos! Chaos! No, it's pronounced chaos. Ka chaos. Correct. Now let's get down to business. I have a database of 50,000 English words. What, that's it? I mean, don't you have any special powers? Like a, can you fly? No. Perhaps you have futuristic weapon hidden somewhere. Like in the movies. No. What about zapping bad guys? It would be nice to get rid of my mathematics teacher. No. I am a language learning game figure. Not some shoot em up hero. Oh. I knew this wasn't going to work. Perhaps he has chosen the wrong coach to help him improve his English. Maybe you should find someone else to help you. No, no. I desperately need your help. Ch chaos. A very wise decision. In return, I need you to help me learn and understand human feelings. Me? <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, hold on. Oh, it's my friend Gus. Yeah, you remember him, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's my cousin Andy from Singapore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in town for a visit. That's nice. Mm. Yeah? Sure, sure, sure. Um, he wants to talk to you. Sure, go ahead. Hello, Andy. Are you enjoying your stay in Malaysia? Oh, you're planning to visit KL Tower. A sound idea. Yeah, you should. You'll get a um, breathtaking view of the city. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been nice talking to you too, Andy. Do enjoy your stay in KL. I'll pass the phone back to Marvin, yeah? Yeah? Ah, yeah, yeah, um, sure. We'll be, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Uh, just wait for me at the entrance. Sure. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, gotta go, guys. <sighs> okay, see you, my friend. Yeah, I'll see you. Hey, by the way, uh, have you been playing just a game? Yeah. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Why? Nothing, nothing. Hello, Gus. How was your day? Oh, you won't believe it. I met Marvin today. And? You should have seen his face. I think I spoke good English. Very good. Marvin asked if I played just a game. I think he feels that my English has improved. Excellent. Looks like our English lessons have produced results. I want to learn more, Chaos. Will you teach me? Yes, but don't forget, you have to teach me too. Oh, no, no, I've not forgotten. Uh, you said you wanted to learn more about the feelings that we humans experience. Yes. Why? I am just computer data, like a hard disk. Data made up from a set of numbers... That don't have feelings. Exactly. And that is also the reason why you came into my world. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get to work. Now, I would like to replay some of the mistakes that you made before you met me. Watch this. Be patience, Marvin. Your mistake is in the word patience. Patience is a noun. Oh, I should have said be patient. Correct. Now let's look at the phrase you and your friends used. Remember what Lena said to you? Are you just going to take things lying down? What do you think she meant when she said Take things lying down. That I can receive presents by sleeping? It means not doing anything about the problem. Oh, now I understand. See, I said my English was weak. So, Lena thought I wasn't doing anything to improve my English. Wait today, find out what I've been doing. Our little secret for now. Uh, yes. Um, Chaos. Do I make any other mistakes yesterday? That's another mistake. You should use did instead of do. Why? Because you are asking me about the mistakes that you made in the past. Oh, sorry. Did I make any other mistakes? Yes. Remember when I introduced myself to you? Watch this. I'm Chaos. How do you do? Do what? I thought you wanted to know how to do something. How do you do is a polite way to greet someone that you meet for the first time. So how should I reply? Well, a how do you do should be replied with a how do you do. Oh, right. So that's when I should have said, uh, okay, let's greet each other again. Hello, I'm Chaos. How do you do? Hello, I'm Gus. How do you do? I would like you to keep this. It's called a combat. Anytime you have a problem with English, you can contact me using this. 
Wow. Thank you. That's very kind of you. You're welcome. I'll tell you there is something different about Gus. What do you mean? Is he ill? No. He speaks differently. It's like his English is better now. Looks like he took our advice and started brushing up on his English. And the way he speaks, he's more confident now. You should hear him speak. Here's our chance. Oh. Hello, friends. And how are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? Very well, thank you. Thanks to just a game. I think my English is improving. By leaps and bounds? Leaps and There's something bounds. mysterious about you, Gus. Could you excuse me for just a minute? What is he up to now? <laughs> and why is he fiddling with that wristband? Ladies, have you seen him wearing that wristband before? No, I... I just noticed it. Ah. We must get to the bottom of this Gus mystery. It will have to wait for later. Hmm? We have to get to the resource room and discuss our trip. Ah. Hey Gus, that's a nice wristband you have there. Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks. It was a present, actually. Uh, well, when's it visit to the women's army camp again? Uh, sometime next week, I think. Thank you all for coming. We are here to discuss the itinerary of our trip to Wardy Bun Camp on the 10th of March. Hi, Sarah. Hi, everyone. Hey. Hi, Sarah. Oh, hi, Sarah. I would also like to welcome Sarah, who has agreed to help us in writing the report of the trip. So, now I would like to hand the floor to Lena, who will brief us on the program. Thanks, Zoo. Okay, as you can see on the board, is our schedule for our visit to Wadiban Camp. We will all have to meet at the main gate at 9 a.m. Sharp! Marvin, you are going to need at least three alarm clocks to wake you up. Oh yeah, sure. Make that four! He might need a school bell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> At 9.15, Hanisa will take the attendance. Of course, our advisor, Mrs. Wong, should always... And so on. Okay. Is everything clear? Any questions? None. Thank you. Sarah, it would be good for you to know the duty of each committee member. Lena looks after the itinerary, Marvin the bus, Gus will take the photographs, and you and I will have to write the report for the trip. Thanks, Sue. I suppose I have to work closely with Gus to see the photos. Yes, I'm quite sure there will be minor hiccups on that day, but the important thing is I expect all of us not to make a hill out of a mountain. Sorry, what is, what is that expression? Um, we should not make a mountain out of a molehill. That's right, Gus. So, if there is nothing else, the meeting is adjourned. Gus, then check it with cameras. I was wondering if you could help me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, no problem. Speak, Master. <laughs> Your servant listens. I got a new camera as my birthday present, and I don't really know how to use it. No problem. I'll help you. How about tomorrow? I can have a look at it. Uh, thanks. Tomorrow sounds good. You are right. There is something different about Gus. Join your stay here. Yes, mentor. 
Gus's English has improved. So I observed. And you? Have you learned anything from him? Yes. As I observe him and his friends, I am beginning to understand the feelings humans have for one another. Let me show you. Courage, buddy. You must have courage. If you like her, you should try to get to know her better. It's only by practicing and learning from one's mistakes that one can improve in any language. I learned that Gus's friends care for him. I understand what it is to care, although... Although you cannot feel it yourself, Chaos? Yes, I also cannot understand other human feelings. Like what? Although Gus's friends were happy that his English had improved, I think they were also surprised about it. Watch this. I tell you, there is something different about Gus. What do you mean? Is he ill? No, he speaks differently. It's like his English is better now. Looks like he took our advice and started brushing up on his English. I think they were surprised because Gus actually listened and took their advice. And what about that girl, Sarah? Did he have the courage to speak to her? Oh yes, that went well. Tomorrow he is going to teach her how to use her new camera. And when are you going to meet his friends? Soon, soon. Listen, Chaos. You can only learn more about people if you get to know them, not by staying away from them. I can see you already have a friend. It's time for you to make more friends.